Hello, beautiful people. How are you guys? Let me know. I am so excited to be filming this video as I'm like getting my blanket and getting all cozy on the couch, my favorite place to be. Um, I'm so excited to be filming this video, truthfully, because YouTube is by far my favorite space to connect. Um, I just feel like it's so like not filtered, raw, and I feel like I can just like, there's no pressure here. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but all that to say, I am so thrilled to be talking with you guys, to be live chatting and updating, and I hope that this feels like catching up with your girlfriend on the couch because that's truly what it is. I don't have coffee today. I actually have my daughter's leftover applesauce because I have a little bit of time before I go get Lily Girl from school. So I whipped out the camera, got ready to go, and then my stomach was growling. So I'm like, well, I better eat something. So let's get started. Okay, so maybe the first thing, since I kind of already touched on it, and um, has been amazing for me, is I haven't been on Instagram for I think like over two weeks now. I actually felt the Lord, and this is really cool, not like for you guys, but kind of for you guys. Um, this is really cool because for probably about a year, I felt like the Lord was like gently asking me to step away from Instagram and fully give all my attention to YouTube. Um, and I don't know, there was just a lot of like back and forth and I'll save you all of that, but the, a lot of back and forth of like, you know, having to confront the fear of missing out, of feeling like I'm not gonna be updated with my people, which is so silly. Um, and anyways, Instagram to me, I just needed a break because I feel like there's so much pressure and not that other people are putting it on me, but I just put it on myself, I think. Um, so anyways, I finally said yes and accepted that invitation. And I don't know why I didn't do that sooner, honestly. I'm not done with Instagram for like ever, like I didn't delete it or anything, but I'm done with it for the end of the year. And it feels so refreshing. I can't even tell you, especially for somebody who like their work has been Instagram. It's just like <sighs> the pressure to post and the pressure to like show up and just all these different pressures of like, it has to be the right caption. It has to be the right picture. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is too much for me to keep up with. Like my life is not curated and it's not like this beautiful, pretty picture all the time. It's just like this, you know? Um, so anyways, it has been so refreshing, especially cause I've been, like I said, on Instagram for like four plus years doing like specifically the blog thing. So it's just like, man, I just needed a break. And it is, I, it's so like, rejuvenated my spirit my mind i feel like i'm so much more present and i would say i had like a pretty good grip like i wouldn't say i'm i was like oh i'm so addicted to instagram but you would be shocked if you have instagram and are on it often how many times just out of habit like at least for me i would go on my phone and start you know just scrolling like almost like a mental tap out per se and so it's really been so great for me because every time i've gone in this period of two weeks so far especially in the beginning when I first started um and I would like out of habit go to my phone and go on like try to go on Instagram and it wouldn't be there because I deleted the app and then I would just kind of ask myself why am I getting on Instagram right now is it to pass time is it to tap out you know mentally and for me I think it was a lot of that um and so it's been a really sweet, precious time, even just like with the Lord of just saying like, I'm not gonna go to anything else for comfort except for you. And oh man, if you haven't done like an Instagram detox or just like a phone detox or anything, I would seriously recommend it, even if it's just like for a time, because I feel like it's like resetting the patterns in my brain. And I am so beyond grateful. Actually, I'm reading a book and it had the most amazing quote. Um, which I'm gonna make a video of books that I'm loving because it is life-changing. Um, and there's a part about tech detox. And so the quote was, if you lose your voice, be quiet a while, it'll come back. And that for me was, it. I mean, if you guys saw like my video on taking your voice back, you guys know that's kind of been in the realm of what I feel like I'm doing this year of like taking my voice back. Um, and so I feel like just like the pressures of Instagram to like, write the perfect caption to make sure it's encouraging to 
show up every day or the guilt of if I don't post or the guilt of if I do post. I'm like, this app, like I did not realize like is taking over my mind and I am just like done with it. I, ugh, yeah. Anyways, um, so all that to say, it has been so refreshing. I have been so much more present. I have read so much, which I love to read. Um, so I've been reading like crazy and it has been so good. Um, another thing, like even apart from it's the Instagram detox is I've been just realizing like the pace that I'm going um, is like nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. And I'm like, I am not a person who thrives off of go, go, go. Like I need my rest. I need downtime. So I just don't thrive off of like a go, go, go type of rhythm. And I feel like that's what my rhythm was looking like for like the past, I don't know, six months or so. Um, so it has been so refreshing. I just felt honestly like this invitation for the rest of the year from now to the rest of the year to really just be present and to rest and not feel like I have to share everything on Instagram or feel like I'm missing out, you know, um, if I'm not seeing something, but it's just been this sweet, precious invitation to rest, to be more present with my family and to actually, um, and, and being in rest, I feel like it's allowed me space to just be more creative. Like even with cooking, cooking is something that I used to love. I used to have a small group um, before I got married where I would cook a big dinner for all these girls and we'd all go to church together. And it was something that I really enjoyed doing. Um, and just because of like different variables, I just kind of stopped and it wasn't like enjoyable. So I've just even just been getting back to like majorly down to the basics. And I feel this invitation from the Lord to just truly simplify and get back down to basics of what's really important. Um, Cause to me, like I've always dreamt of being the mom who's like, oh, she's a great cook, like come over for dinner. Like I just, I love that. Um, and it's important to me to, you know, I love to gather people and all that. So to me, like that's something that's important. It might not be important to you, but for me it was like, Oh, I kind of put that even just something simple like cooking on the back burner. Um, and I'm like, no, I, this is something that I want to learn how to be better at. And I want to explore and I want to do, and I want to create memories with my girls, you know? So, um, I've been doing a lot of that. I've been trying new recipes, which has been super fun. And I find I just have so much more stinking time in my day when I'm not taking like five minutes to scroll there, 10 minutes here, 30 minutes there. It's like, it does nothing to just like mindlessly scroll and that's just where I was at, I guess. So it has been so good, so good. Um, and it kind of came at the perfect time to transition into another thing, which is, which I'm not gonna go into a lot of depth just because I feel like it's not really my story to share. Um, but my family was hit with really, really hard, um, horrible news and um, in kind of multiple areas. And so that, you know, like taking away Instagram, I feel like was such a timely thing because how I mentioned before, going to that for comfort, like it's been so sweet to just be able to every time I'm praying through something or thinking about something or like, you know, I feel like before I'd be like, oh, this is too much. Like I just need to tap out and scroll, right? Like it's like this weird thing but it's so true. And I feel like so many people are in that mindset. But uh, when my family got hit with really hard, devastating news, um, it was just a sweet invitation to only be comforted by the Lord. And that's been really good, really, really good. I would say though, if you feel led, we would love your prayers um, specifically for healing. So if you feel led to pray for everyone, I'd so appreciate that. And um, truly, like I'm not just saying that, I would really appreciate that. Um, but, and also in that, I have felt on multiple different situations, this invitation to either worry, right? Um, and be soaked in anxiety and stress and worry and doubt and fear. But I felt this beautiful invitation from the Lord. I guess I didn't realize how many invitations I've been feeling. I feel like this is just a sweet season of me just saying yes, finally, and just like really surrendering. Um, but this has been a sweet invitation to not partner with fear and doubt and worry and all those things and to choose to say, I cannot wait to see what God can do. I can't wait to see what you're gonna do, Lord. Like, I cannot wait. You have such a big, like this has been my prayer. You have such a big 
um, opportunity for miracles, I cannot wait to see what you're gonna do. So that's kind of where I've tried to keep like my heart posture through everything um, is, God, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do. I can't wait to see the testimony that comes from this. I can't wait to see the miracle that comes from this. Um, so that's been something that's been really powerful just in my own life as well, of just having that attitude of, and it's hard, I'm not gonna lie, it's super hard, because naturally we want to, you know, go towards fear and down worry, but it's been this beautiful, like, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do, Lord. Um, so that's been really awesome. So overall, to kind of sum up, um, I'm excited because I feel like Granted, I needed a little bit of a break once we got like the really hard news, so I couldn't just like pop up on YouTube, you know? Um, but I'm so happy because I finally have put down something that I feel like God was asking me to put down for a while, which was Instagram, because it was just taking up so much time and so much like mental space. And so I'm so excited because I feel like I finally get to put all my energy into YouTube, which is like my heart. Like I love YouTube. I love connecting on here with you guys. I love being able to show up on the couch and just talk about life, you know, in an unfiltered, raw kind of way. And um, so that to say also, if you have tried to reach out to me on Instagram, I had I did have to hop on just to reach somebody for a work thing um, so I did see some of your guys's messages and it is pretty much my favorite thing ever when you guys watch my videos you find them from you know the devotionals or wherever you're um, whatever you were searching for that made you stumble upon my channel I love nothing more like it makes my day truly when I get a message saying, I found you from A, B, and C on YouTube, and you know, this, this, and this. Like, oh, I just love connecting with you guys so much on YouTube. Um, and I feel like this is a space where we can be creative and we can talk about life, and we don't have to put pressure on ourselves to make it some big, crazy production, you know? Um, I mean, I know that there's other channels that do that, but you guys know if you've been here that on this channel, it's just like, it might be pretty, it might not be pretty. Um, so that to say, I can't wait to, now that I finally am filling up for it, to start filming videos. I have so many videos, ideas. Um, I have a couple devotionals that I have stirring in my heart. I have a book video that I wanna share, some amazing books that I've been reading recently. I'd love to start even sharing um, cooking and stuff. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, I've also been debating, which I'm not sure if I wanna bring on here, but um, I know there's so many questions and stuff about essential oils and I do, um, I do do Young Living. And so if you guys are interested and in, I don't know, maybe even like a separate channel, I'm still kind of praying through that. But if you have any interest at all in that type of stuff, let me know. And then I forgot to tell you guys like the biggest thing, um, not the biggest thing, a big thing is Kyle and I are hopefully, if you guys have been following um, along here on YouTube for like this past year. I mentioned it a couple times, but our prayer from the beginning of this year in January was we really want to buy, oh, he's calling me, so I got to make it quick. Um, we really want to buy a home. And if, if you don't know, we've been in an apartment for the past two and a half years. And so we really feel like this is a season to buy a home. So there is a home that I love very, very much. And it's one of those things that I'm like, okay, Lord, if you want us to have it, like, yes, Jesus, I love this house so much. So if you want to pray with us for that, that'd be amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, regardless of which house we're going to get, we just feel like this is a season two by house. So we're so excited. And again, I cannot wait to see what the Lord's going to do. So I think that's probably all of my updates. I have to go get Lilybug from school, call Kyle back really quick. Um, but yeah, so so if you guys do need to reach me, um, like if you, I love, like I said, I love when you guys message me. Um, for the rest of the year, I'm gonna be off Instagram. So if you want, send me an email, I love it. Um, I think there's even Messenger on YouTube. I don't know how it works. I don't know if it's like very seamless or not. So if you wanna chat, I would love it so much. So you guys can always email me that I'm checking that every day and um, or even the comments, I pretty much try to respond to every single comment on my entire channel. So, 
all that to say, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I cannot wait to film so many videos and spend all my time here on YouTube because I love this platform and I love connecting with you guys, um, truly. So thank you for watching my little couch update. I'm gonna eat the rest of my applesauce really quick, get Kennedy in the car, go get Lily and call call back. So I'll be back filming very soon and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.